Hi, I'm Beth Schuster, the Education Editor at the LA Times. With me this morning is Howard Bloom, who covers LA Unified K-12 education. The big issue right now in LA Unified is iPads. The superintendent has decided that every student and teacher should be provided with a tablet from Apple. So, let's get started. Howard, what happened to the price of these tablets? Well, the price that we've heard for a long time is that they got a deal for, to get them for $678, but it turns out that does not include tax, it does not include a recycling fee, and also to get the price, once you throw those in, it's $744, and if you don't buy about 520,000 of them, then the price is about $770 a piece. So th that that difference adds up when you're buying something in the neighborhood of 650,000 tablets or however many they buy. Well, it sure does add up. And my question is, how do they pay for this? They've laid off teachers, they've cut back on programs. How is LA Unified paying for this? It comes from a different source of funds. It comes from school construction bonds, and that's somewhat controversial on its own. It's the money that's used to build buildings, and there's some debate about whether you can use that money for iPads and the curriculum that's on the iPads. And let's talk about that curriculum. Have teachers started using it? What's on it? Uh, is it complete? The curriculum is from the Pearson Corporation. It is not complete yet. Uh, there are sample units. This is supposed to be a transition year, so the district says it's getting what it thought it was getting. So it has a couple of sample units, and they're going to transition to using it full time. And opinions on its quality vary. And um, tell us about what happened when they first rolled out these tablets um, at the 40 schools. Um, you know, how did it go? What were the reactions? What happened? One of the first problems that came up is that the students deleted, uh, more than 300 students at three different campuses deleted security filters once they got home with the iPads and they were able to browse freely anywhere they wanted on the internet, which was not something the district wanted to have happen. So all of those iPads were brought back in and now no iPads are going home. The district says that overall the rollout has been successful. It's hard to tell because most principals are too, uh, for whatever reason, they don't want to talk to the media about it. Okay. Now, parents, um, how do they feel about it? There were two public meetings yesterday regarding iPads. Um, tell us a little bit about the reactions from parents and board members at those meetings. And also, I'm interested in what, if any, responsibility parents have for these devices. The official position of the district on parent responsibility is if you're negligent and you cause something bad to happen to an iPad, you're responsible for it. If it's stolen, it's not your fault then you're not responsible for it. But coming up with that, the policies that support that theory in the field, are, that's a complicated matter. And in fact, mixed messages have gone out to parents, including from some forums that said they are responsible no matter what happens, but the district insists that that's not the case. So the, the, many complex issues to work out. And at the meetings yesterday, there were two uh, LA Unified School Board Committee meetings. Um, what was reaction among parents and board members and others about the iPad program? Well, they got a lot of answers to some persistent questions, but they also did not get a lot of answers. Uh, for example, there were questions about the Pearson curriculum and how much it was, it's costing, and the district says, well, we don't know the answer because we don't contract with Pearson, we only contract with Apple. Uh, so that, was an, that, that struck some people as odd that they wouldn't know what the curriculum is costing. Also, they, didn't, they wanted a plan for how this technology program would be sustained once these iPads wear out, and they have a projected three-year plus life, and nobody knows what that plus is. So that question was not answered either, but we're supposed to get more answers in a week. Okay. So that was Howard Bloom, covers education for us. You can read more of his stories on LATimes.com slash education. He also did a live chat this morning written on LATimes.com at LA Now. Thank you.